the truth about gel tips. We've seen a lot of questions come at us about this topic. We're gonna get into the truth right now on the Biz Talk. I really thought I had to sneeze. You, you have to sneeze. I'm not sure. Can you sneeze? It feels, that, feels like it, but I, I see think, your eyes watering. I think I'm good. Oh my god! Please don't sneeze. I'm not gonna sneeze. You're gonna sneeze now. Do it. <laughs> sneeze it. <laughs> I'm good. Okay. <laughs> You're literally crying, but it's because of your over joy happiness because you're sitting next to me and I understand that people cry around me. They just cry. I do cry around you, not for joy, but that's okay. <laughs> All right. Um, this is a really good topic um, because there, there's been a lot of questions. We get a lot of questions about everything and that's typically how we come up with the topics on biz talk but this one in particular is about gel tips um i guess in the marketplace uh i don't know the brands specifically but i know that there are what's being called gel tips like basically plastic tips but uh made of soft gel, gel soft gel yeah um and Here's the thing I want to say, first of all, is I haven't, I don't go and do all this like, um, like research on competition and I, I just don't do that. I don't have time. You know what I mean? I know that there are companies out there that say that. I don't know what they mean by that. If they mean plastic, you know, because in essence, gel and acrylic once cured are plastic like that's basically what nails turn into is like a form of plastic like right. acrylic yeah. right like when you think of an acrylic display it's made it's of made acrylic of, yeah acrylic plastic right yeah. so there's like a a relationship that exists there now when i say gel what i'm talking about is actual gel from like a pot or a tube right. that a nail technician would put in the light, put in the light, cure it, um, and create nails with. Create nails with exactly, and and soft gel is uh, like gel polish or any type of gel that essentially could be soaked off. Right, right, right. okay, removed with acetone. Correct. Now, so again, I don't know what other companies mean by their definitions. They might have different different definitions. By my definition, what I can tell you is that tips in the market, they're not gel, according to my definition of... Right. Like... It's not nail gel. It's not nail gel. It's not like there's some machine that takes actual gel and then cures it and mass produces tips that people then use to make press-ons so on and so forth, right. right? So that's what I'm talking about, and I know that's what you're talking about too. Correct. Because we have talked about this and we're talking about it now. I'm excited to talk about it. I'm excited. Talk about it, yeah, yeah, talk about it. Tracy. I'm done talking about this. <laughs> okay, um, I'm like, okay. So um, this is what Tracy and I mean, and um, by our definitions. By definition, no tips or tips all tips that i've seen you know if they they come in a tray and you put them on with glue or those are made of plastic plastic right they're made of plastic now there's different forms of plastic or different sure. levels of because I've I've dealt with some cheap t tips and it's it's not right you know and I've I've dealt with high end tips and right. they're they're not much nicer so there's different grades i guess totally but not they're not gel Exactly. And, um, you know, this is a question I brought to our chemist and, you right, know, like asking. We've, we've come out with full cover tips. Full cover tips. Exactly. We've come out with them. And so I wanted to know, you know, are they, are these uh, gel, like different tips in the market? And so our chemist went out into the market and found samples and uh, did actual testing on them and came back to me and said, these are plastic. These are plastic. So I said, okay, so 
there's only one other thing I can think of is that people are have their own definitions of what right. gel might be. You know what I'm saying? Uh, yes, and I, I get that. And I think where, 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 where we're probably coming from, right, is because we have come out with full cover, we're getting this, the question, are, All the the, time. are these Made soft of, gel? Are they soft gel? Correct. Are they gel? Right. And it's like, oh, we we really felt like we needed to clarify the mm. definition. Correct. So we are communicating completely open, trans- Very transparent to you Transparent. Guys. On, I want to. I want to basically be honest and transparent about this, and more than anything, clar- clarify. Like, if you're asking, are our tips gel by Young Nails definition of what? When I speak of gel, when Greg speaks of gel, and Tracy does, no, it's not. They're plastic, but that goes with every other tip as well in the market. Now, if you're basically asking. Hey, there are full cover tips in the market. Is it the same material as what's out in the market? Yes, it's the same material. Does that make sense? It makes sense to me. Let's yeah. let's just break down one more time though. So, I, I just don't I, I think there could be, you know, just to make it very clear. Yeah. Right. So you're saying that it's it's plastic, what we know to be plastic Correct. tips. Correct. Which is what tips have always been made out of. Right. And that for our definition or really they're all the same kind of material, which would be plastic in our definition. Of now, someone is. might use a different def- definition for it. It's still the same material. It's the same material. Yeah. Reg- you can call it, you know, blah, 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 blah. And Please if it's, don't. well, for this example, I'm going to call it blah, 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 blah. Is it the same as blah, 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 blah? Yes, it is. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like the blah, it blah, doesn't, blah, blah, blah. it's the same. It's the same thing. You <laughs> can it. call it whatever you want to call it. Is it the same chemical composition yes because my chemist has gone out and analyzed what's out in the market again i don't know the brands i don't sit there and say this this i just want to know hey in the market x y and z um can you just check to see and comes back and tells me with certainty hey this is plastic so in the end um this is really important because what I'm seeing, Tracy, is that there is confusion mm-hmm. in the marketplace. Yes, definitely. With a lot of people that are, they keep, I keep, I keep seeing the question. I kept seeing the question, which is why I went to our chemist and said, hey, um, you need to like check this out because is this even, can you, because my definition of gel is like, are there actually, is there a company that's taking gel and curing it in some machine? I'm like, that's impossible. Yeah, squeezing it into a mold. Yeah, and- no, no, no. It's just not, to, at least to my knowledge, it's not possible. So right. um, that's why he did the analysis and came back to me and said, no, it's their, right. what's in the market is plastic. Right. And what you guys have is, is a, it's the same material. Now, obviously, there's going to be differences like, um, the is the shape Mm. Do we like, is the plastic that we're using durable? Right. Um, is it to your standard? Is it to Greg's standard? You know, the curve, something- yeah, because we, we went through several different runs of, of until we found one we liked, right? Exactly. The shape and everything, because they're, they're not all, they don't all look the, the same, and we wanted Correct. something that looked much like a formed nail. That's exactly right. Absolutely. And um, especially like, you know, there's a whole market of, these press on uh, tips, right? Like for nail professionals, especially during lockdown, there's been a kind of an opportunity to open up where they can create these press ons. Right. Some amazing, amazing seen, some press amazing ons. Yeah. And they can sell these sets. Their clients can wear them, you yeah. know, at least temporarily. Get them by. Get them by, exactly. And where the tech can make some money. And even when there is no lockdown, still, this is a really good opportunity you should maybe do this anyway maybe you can make an extra x amount of dollars per month selling and your market is the world so it's right. a, it's a good idea or, i think to do or temp sets we've talked about that that's a great really quick easy way for someone that doesn't want to keep wearing them yeah. um and then like think you know there are you know not a the huge market of it but a lot of people that do celebrity work or fashion shows or uh, photo shoots and these are great for that too yeah absolutely absolutely um and so this is a great market to get into which is which is why i was getting confused as to right. 
why are people asking if these are like gel? Yeah. It was, it was, it's a very bizarre um, topic. And I don't want, um, at least if, if your interpretation is the same as mine, which is that gel is, you know, hard gel, soft gel. So let's talk about soft gel. Like our manicure um, clear is a yeah, soft in gel pot, in yeah. a pot. That's a soft gel, which can be uh, soaked off. And it, when it's cured, it has a little bit of that, like, like, I don't want to say rubbery, but it has, a, it's soft. You can actually feel it when it you put your. Flex is, that's flexes. why we don't extend with it. Really. Right. It's which, flexible was kind of confusing to me with when it came down to soft gel tips too because a, a soft gel uh we typically will not extend with them because it's too flexible that's right. why we use hard gel for sculpting and, right. and a soft gel for like overlays, overlays. yeah totally yeah. because a protective layer right? right so that um it's it's super important to understand that difference in the market i don't want people to get confused by this because if you're thinking you're buying tips, it doesn't matter if it's from us or if it's from anybody else, and you're thinking you're getting a cured gel product, you're not. I just want to be clear about that. You're not. That's the truth. Um, now, here's the thing. like the, the market of full coverage tips has grown like crazy, and the quality... That's been huge it's gotten yeah. so much better yeah because i someone recently on one of our videos said you know these aren't new You're absolutely right it's not it's just the quality is so much so much better so much better it's yeah. not you know the 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 press-ons of the 80s you know correct exactly yeah the, the quality of these has gotten so much better the shapes look it's beautiful it's amazing beautiful shape. yeah, yeah they look really really good so um i if, if you're interested in that market you should. You shouldn't be if your if your uh, primary sort of decision making factor is is this gel or not. Well, you're you're not actually you're not well informed, and that's what I'm trying to tell you is that shouldn't be the the you know is it because you're not asking the right question. They're all plastic. Um, what you should be asking is are these quality tips. In general mm. and do I like the shapes are they gonna last those are the questions you should be asking if you're asking again is this gel you're not you're not asking the right question yeah. because it doesn't it doesn't make sense well I think but I understand why they're asking it, of course right? yeah, because and what, what I love is that you actually took it to the chemist to, to your chemist have to to find out because it was such an important question to yeah. us like we didn't want to give misinformation like maybe there's something we're missing for or, sure you know so you know i know some people are like why don't you answer us and it's like well hubby really wanted to make sure yeah always and, and get the full information before we brought it to you always and, and that's the thing my initial response is i, I don't i don't understand why people are asking right. are these gel well that no, was like is it because some apply it with soft gel right but mm, no that's not the reason no and and that's why i honestly honestly believe that there's just a there's different definition you know what i mean yeah. like there could be confusion in the market there's just a different definition of what a soft gel is. I can't tell somebody this is what it is and it's written in stone. Right. No, I can't. What I can tell you though, when you break down it, when you break it down chemically, chemically when you break it down, it's plastic. Okay. It's it's an actual plastic. It's not the same as a soft gel coming out of a pot. And I don't care if you're calling it gel or soft gel or blah 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 blah. Whatever you want to call it. Right. Marketing. Yeah. You can call it whatever you want. And maybe that's you're just your name for it. I don't know, but when you break down the chemical structure of it, it's it's a plastic tip, which is the same as our plastic tip and whatever plastic tip is in the market. It's the same material. Um, the name you put on it, you just might have a different definition. I don't know. That's why I'm, I'm you know, I have to clarify what our definition of soft gel is. And according to my definition, it's it's not soft gel. And if that's your definition too, well then. It's not right. soft gel. Right. So it's not yeah. gel, soft gel, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I have a feeling a lot of people are thinking, you know, right now, like, oh, that's, I thought it literally meant soft gel. Yeah, no, it, it doesn't. Yeah. I can, I can tell you that, you know, for, for certainty that it's not Love that, it. but it's, it's a name 
and you can put whatever name you want. And but maybe that's, you know, a, companies have different definitions for things. Like I said, I can't look in the dictionary and say, well, this is what soft gel is. It doesn't exist. Right. It's right. An, it's it's an industry knowledge. You know what I mean? And um, when we create a soft gel, it's something that you create out of a pot and you apply it on the nail and you cure it in a light. That's what I'm talking about. So yeah. I just want to make sure that that's totally clear. I, I really like it. I like that you went above and like really dug into the definitions For just sure. to make sure. And I mean, it took some time to do. Yes. Yes, it did. And that's why we didn't want to, you know, create a video on this, a podcast on this without really understanding um, the truth, you know? And so I wanted to make sure my definitions were my definitions and they're correct and they are and, um, totally stand by that. So I hope that clarifies it for you as well. Um, if you have any questions on this topic, you can DM us, you can put them in the comments below and we will be sure to get back to you. Tracy, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us and we'll see you next time on the biz talk.